joining us. Now we've got some breaking news to tell you about right now at 536 from the Park Manor neighborhood happening just a short time ago. An 11 year old girl shot while she was in the front bedroom of her home. Now this happened at 415 this morning at the home located at 69th and Calumet. She was hit in the cheek and rushed to Comer Children's Hospital in critical condition. It's not clear where the shots came from, but the girl's father told detectives at the scene that he heard noise from the back unit in the building where they live and a door had been knocked down. Police do not have anyone in custody right now. After days of record setting numbers earlier this month, the coronavirus curve is trending downward in Illinois this morning. That's some good news. The improvement comes as health experts warn against large Thanksgiving gatherings. They've been stressing this every day. The state reports another 47 deaths from COVID-19 and there are more than 8,300 new confirmed cases. Now we've been tracking the numbers since the beginning of this pandemic and Monday's number of 8,300 represents the full fourth day in a row that cases in Illinois have dropped. The state's positivity rate now at 10.9% and that's also down for the fourth day in a row. Now a new COVID testing site opens today at Midway Airport. It's for anyone in the neighborhood. You do not have to be traveling to get tested there, but travelers and airport employees can also use this site. It'll be open from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays. It'll also be open Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And just so you know, there is an easy way to find a testing site that's near you. The city has an interactive map and we have a link to that on our app, just search CBS Chicago wherever you get your apps. A $94 million property tax hike for Chicago could pass as early as today. City Council is set to take a final vote. It's just part of Mayor Lori Lightfoot's $12.8 billion spending plan for 2021. Thousands of dollars paid to a contractor and no work done. In the midst of everything that's going on, who, who does this to people? The Morning Insiders uncover a trail of lies from a contractor. This morning's temperatures are sponsored by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. Still hard to find a spot, just easier to park. Still the big move, just more moving. Still singing, just more in tune. Still the gang's all here, just less are we there yet. The Chevy family of SUVs, making life's journey just better. Now, during the Chevy Cyber Sales event, use $500 Cyber Cash on most SUV models to get $5,250 total cash allowance on most 2020 Equinox models. Visit ChevyDriveChicago.com today. Have you been injured? Contact Vandergan's Law for free and never owe us a dime unless we get you money. You can open your case from home at vlaw.com or call us now. The right call, 1-800-960-B-LAW. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Nobody does football like FanDuel Sportsbook. It's a Thanksgiving showdown. Get an exclusive odds boost on any team to win any game. Bet every snap of every game. And get your winnings at as little as 24 hours. There's always more ways to win on FanDuel Sportsbook. New users, get an exclusive 25 to 1 odds boost on any Thanksgiving game. Bet 5 bucks to win 125. CBS Eye on the Community. Today, your home is more important than ever. That's why NICOR Gas partners with community agencies like CEDA. I am forever grateful for the CEDA program. CEDA partners with NICOR Gas to provide furnace repair and replacement, hot water tank repair and replacement that help the clients save money and stay warm in the winter. I would like people to know about this program and how they're able to help families. Brought to you by the NICOR Gas Energy Efficiency Program. Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. Praying on honest people in the middle of a pandemic, a Chicago woman fallen on hard times is hit with a one-two punch. She says she paid a contractor thousands of dollars to fix her roof. He took her cash, then left the roof ripped up and hasn't been seen since. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas uncovers this trail of lies. Throughout this year, it's just been so 
hard. This is, it's been so hard. Tiana Hills grew up in this home. It's where her family took care of her. And when COVID caused family illnesses and financial hardships, she returned to take care of them. But things didn't go as planned. Her nearly 100-year-old home, full of family, 15 people in all, and also full of problems. The gutters and the shingles have fell off. The worst being a bad roof that leaks each time it rains. Like many homeowners in need of a repair, Hill turned to Yelp and got an immediate reply from Riverside Roofing and Masonry. And they came out the very next day because I And the momentum continued. She signed the contract paid a $4,500 deposit, work all set to start, but... They said they need $6,500 to start, so we gave them more money. Even after receiving the additional two grand, one of Riverside's owners, Justin Ephraim, pressed her for more. I'm just in desperate need to get the house fixed. The family pinched their scarce finances some more, but the eight grand Hill had now given him still wasn't enough. The only work this supposed contractor did put holes in her wall. Ephraim asked for even more money, but this time Hill refused and he ghosted her. Worried, Hill returned to Yelp and saw new negative reviews describing scenarios strikingly similar to her own. In the midst of everything that's going on, who, who does this to people? We checked to see if Riverside Roofing and Masonry was licensed with the state, a requirement, the answer, no. We called the number listed on his contracts, not in service. As for this business address? So we drove to that address in Riverside and we found the offices for dentists, attorneys, but no contractor. I feel taken advantage of. I feel betrayed. Making matters worse, the bad weather combined with that bad roof meant Hill's family had to cough up another thousand dollars to someone else just to tarp the roof. I'm trying to be real positive, um, but I'm, I'm really hurt. Like, I'm really hurt. A bright blue reminder of the work that still needs to be done and the pain caused by a roof job gone bad. Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News. So what did the contractor tell us? Well, good question, because his story and his excuses just kept changing. And you won't believe the outrageous offer slash threat he made to Hill. We'll have that story coming up at 10 tonight. For more stories like this one, download our new app, and you can look for the section called Morning Insiders.